Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. I hope that you all had an awesome weekend. If you do hear any banging in the background, it is because my kitchen was flooded out about a month ago and the workmen are starting today and they're ripping floor out and all sorts. So I do apologize for that. Now there is only one video that I could be doing today and yes it is on Gerwin Iceman Price and obviously from his tweets that he put out on March the 17th which I think has shocked a lot of us and caused huge debates. So what I wanted to do is, is before I go into the tweets which are going to be shown here I wanted to say that when the Premier League was coming out for those of you that do follow my channel I clearly stated to everybody that I did not think that Gerwin Price would be in the Premier League. I didn't think he was ready. I didn't think that he should be selected. Um, I just didn't. I didn't think he he would have been, but I know that many of you did. However, when he was selected, I held my hands up and said, yep, he's in the Premier League. But do you know what? He is one of these players that's going to be in it, and it doesn't matter how much pressure he gets, because he's got this, like pizzazz and confidence that stuff doesn't matter. He's an ex-rugby player. He can put stuff behind him. And he's not going to be like a Wes New earner, Mark Webster, a Kim Ibrex, a Yellow Classen, where if he do get a defeat week in, week out, it's going to have a huge impact on him because he'll just brush himself down and go again. Again, I'm not holding my hands up. I was wrong. These tweets that you can see here clearly stem from his Premier League. I'm not saying he's played horrendous in the Premier League because he hasn't. But what he hasn't done is took his chances. He's not the cool Iceman character at the moment that you would think would take the chances on the doubles. And week in and week out, just like we've seen, um, it, it's like, uh, I don't know what it is. There's something about the Premier League. It catches up with you. But it is certainly, <clears throat> excuse me, caught up with Gerwin Price. He tweeted comes to a time where the game becomes boring and you don't care if you win or lose. Time for a little break, I think. What does that tell you? Uh, there was a guy straight away, it's had loads of comments on it, but Mick Chapman then put, come on, girl, and it's your first season in the Premier League. Chin up, still time to turn it around. And he just put, and last. He's already written himself off. He's saying he doesn't care if he win or loses. What does that say for him as a player, first of all? Secondly, what does it say to the people in the, that didn't get in the Premier League? He's got this opportunity. He's got in the Premier League. It's still got about another four nights to go till judgment night. Could easily turn it around to me, he's already given up. Um, the sponsors, everything. What does that tell you about Gerwin Iceman Price? The one thing I thought about him is it doesn't matter how much he get beat, how much he gets destroyed. He's got his pizzazz and swagger, but he would just carry on, put it right, and it is what it is. But clearly, it is having an impact. So in this video, like I say, look at the tweets there. I want to know what you guys think to it. And also, what, what would you be telling him? If you was his manager, or if you was the PDC, and you were seeing these tweets that he's publishing everywhere for, for the world to see, with an opportunity to still go further into the tournament, I don't know. I had to do this video, guys. I'm really, really intrigued. Please leave your comments below on it and get back to me um, because I'm really, really interested in your thoughts. As always, that is, that's it, that is it for this video. I really look forward to your comments on this. Please, please, if you do like the channel, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications and check out DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.